So you want to get into the cloud, but you're not a programmer. It's okay. Make sure to watch till the end as I will be revealing three high paying jobs that you can get in the cloud computing business, even if you're not a programmer and you have no intention of being one. My name is Elias. I'm a senior solutions architect. Now let's do this. You can spend the next three years working your ass off to take every AWS certification out there, learning all 200 plus services in AWS and the 18 different ways to deploy containers and learning all there is to learn about designing, implementing and maintaining applications at scale in order to satisfy the requirements of AWS Solutions Architect job description. Alternatively, you can get into AWS as quickly as possible and learn all the aforementioned requirements from within while having first-hand exposure to all solutions architect responsibility. Now, if you had to choose between one or two, which one would you go for? Well, I know I would go for the latter by choosing to be a technical account manager, a TAM. Being a TAM requires zero knowledge of coding. I mean, let's put the requirements of an SA position on the right and that of a TAM on the left. Pause the video and compare these two. Go ahead. You most likely notice that while being tech savvy is a necessary for both jobs, the time requirements are much more attainable for non-programmers. You see, the typical structure of a pre-sales team within AWS comprises of an account manager, AM, a solutions architect, SA, and a technical account manager, a TAM. The three of them work together on daily basis to provide the best advice to cloud customers and be there to assess them throughout their cloud journey. The AM handles the business side. You know, there's the ones who signs deals and stuff. The SA takes care of the technical side, uh, assessing requirements, designing solutions and stuff. Uh, but it's the TAM who handles the day-to-day -day operations with the customer. It's the TAM that keeps an eye on the customer's goals, addresses their technical issues, identifies their needs, and also offers them the best possible solution. It's the TAM that helps organizations understand best practices around cloud-based solutions, as well as diagnose and reproduce technical issues with their technology products. And you will be doing that while building your technical skills as well as learning from top subject matter experts and industry thought leaders. That's not to say the TAM role is easy, because it's not, far from it. But I personally had many colleagues who started in AWS as TAMs and slowly built their cloud knowledge to finally get the cloud solutions architect job. The second job on my list is a data analyst. Now, the exact responsibilities of this role sometimes differ from one company to another. But in general, a data analyst is a professional who is responsible for collecting, for processing, and performing statistical analysis on large data sets. Their primary goal? Well, it's to extract meaningful insight and support data-driven decision-making. The figure that comes to my mind personally when I hear the word data analyst is Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, the CIA analyst who saves the world from grave dangers one season at a time. But let's stay in the real world. A data analyst who joins a gaming company, for example, would play a key role in driving decision making by providing valuable insight into player behavior, game performance, monetization, and they will do that by collecting and analyzing player behavior data, such as in-game actions, purchases, progression to identify trends and patterns. They will do that by monitoring and analyzing game performance data, such as frame rate, crashes, load times to identify areas for improvement. They'll do that by analyzing players' acquisition and engagement metrics to evaluate effectiveness of marketing campaigns and, and, and promotions. They will do that by providing insight into players' preferences and behavior, which in return assists with the design and development of new stages in the game, new features, new content. And they will do that also by analyzing players' spending patterns and identifying opportunities for revenue growth, which in return support the monetization team. Now, if our gaming company was leveraging AWS, then some of our analysts' responsibilities would be setting up and managing data storage and processing services such as Amazon S3, 
for data storage, Amazon Glue for data catalog and, and ETL, and Amazon Redshift for data warehousing. They would be designing and implementing data pipelines to automate the movements of data from various sources into AWS. They would be analyzing and visualizing data stored in AWS using tools like Amazon QuickSight, tools like Tableau or Power BI. They would be monitoring data quality and ensuring the accuracy of results through regular audits and testing. What else? They would be collaborating with data engineers and other stakeholders to ensure that data is securely stored and processed in accordance with industry standards and best practices. So I'm trying to give you a, a holistic view here, but overall, the role of a data analyst in a cloud environment is to help organizations leverage the cloud to gain deeper insights into their data and make more informed business decisions. Now, you might be required to write some SQL queries, but as far as I'm concerned, that's not coding. Now, the next job on the list, the number three opportunity is project manager. In a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services, a project manager would play a key role in helping organizations successfully adopt and integrate cloud services into their operations. Some specific examples of tasks a project manager might perform in, in an environment such as AWS would include managing projects related to the migration of applications, migrations of data, migrations of infrastructure to the cloud, coordinating with cross-functional teams, including development, security, operations, to ensure that projects are delivered on time and within budget. They would also be tracking project expenses, ensuring that the project stay within financial constraints. They would be monitoring the progress, identifying the risks and roadblocks, making uh, course corrections as needed. So it is pretty much similar to what a project manager would do in a different company. Now they will be working with cloud customers in order to help them for their own projects. And they will be using what, what, the, what the cloud provider offers in terms of services. Now, overall, the role of a project manager in an AWS environment is to lead successful adoption and integration of cloud services. You know, the role is to ensure that the projects are completed on time, they're completed within budget and to the satisfaction of stakeholders. But even if programming is not required, I highly suggest you get the cloud practitioner certification first. This will bring any manager several benefits. It will demonstrate that you have a solid understanding of the AWS cloud platform and its core businesses. This knowledge can be valuable in effectively planning, executing, delivering all these AWS projects. It is also a widely recognized certification in the industry uh, and it's looked at as a benchmark of AWS knowledge and expertise. You know, having the certification can help any project manager stand out in a competitive job market and increase their visibility with potential employers. Also, with a deeper understanding of the AWS cloud platform and its capabilities, project managers can make more informed decisions about how to best leverage AWS services to meet the needs of their projects. Now, this can help them deliver better results and drive success for their organizations. So overall, the role of a project manager in AWS environment is to lead the successful adoption and integration of cloud services, ensuring that projects are completed on time, they're completed within budget, and to the satisfaction, satisfaction of stakeholders. If this video does well, I will create a second part where I will explore other cloud roles that do not require coding background. So kindly give it a like. And if you know someone who's looking to get into the cloud, share the video with them. That way we can help more people. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.